first down throw for Bridgewater. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. And he's brought down. That's it for the first half. Two. Yeah, that's perfect. Two. Davis. Deep. Uh, I, think I gotta go. I gotta go. Okay, and sorry about that. Didn't know Larry got cut off early. We are back and ready for the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. And New York set to take the field. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. That throw good for four. It's second down. And they're six yards away from picking up the first here on second down. They go play action. Bridgewater. This is Cobb with a catch right side. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Bridgewater now looking to throw on first. Looking for Bolden, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Paul Puzlesny. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. Call it a gain of five. And it'll make it a second down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. And when you have a guy in the backfield who can catch the football, you don't just use him strictly for check downs or dump offs. You make him part of the primary passing attack because what you're trying to do is get him into open field and then let him make people miss and advance the football. So a second down in completion now brings up third down. It's Bell, and he's going to be taken down right at the line. Only a yard of the pick up there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. But this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no game. the gun. Here's McNair. Wilson snags it left side. It'll be a gain of four. And they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game. That'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. They go play action here on first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Second down, McNair. 
Going underneath to Blunt. It's a gain of seven, and they're going to have a third down. Red zone opportunity. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. The field goal unit's going to stay put on the sideline. They're going to go on fourth down here. Play action. It's McNair. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack. And a turnover on downs. And New York set to take the field. And you wonder, Charles, could that decision come back to haunt them later? And it really could, because in this situation, you kick the field goal in a tight game like this, that's a good play. Yeah. But maybe what he's saying to himself is, I'm just not a big proponent of the old idea that any possession that ends in a kick, I'm happy with. He wanted to be really aggressive. A little twist here in the third quarter. They run with LT. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Again, it's Tomlinson. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. A second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. A lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Randall Cobb on the breakaway. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Randall Cobb, 56 yards. And the Giants have taken the lead. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. The kicking team out there for the Giants as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five yards with a new rule as he's taken down right at the 20-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down, caused all of that. it caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey. I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. McNair to throw, finding time. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And his guys are going to have the football back as the third quarter comes to an end. One receiver left, two to the right. Let's go. And the drive will start with a carry by Ladanian Tomlinson. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. It's a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. On third down, Bridgewater. They complete it to Hill. 
They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. Now Bridgewater on fourth down. And no, it's incomplete. The Giants go on fourth. But come up empty. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. They come up in an offset eye. Now a first down carry by Bell. And room there to work it inside the 25. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On second down, it's Bell. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. And I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it'll be second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense. But in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass, excellent job, way to knock it down. The offense certainly looking to score some points, but they also need ball security here late as we get down to the final moments of this one. Here's Blunt. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Blunt, the lone running back. They'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the five. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what do you got to do? You got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. The yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Back to throw. Being and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And now they're in the hurry up. Well, this defensive unit certainly picked a great time to make a stand. Back-to-back -back sacks, starting with first and goal. I have to believe that they'll continue to bring the pressure on third down. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Forced out to his left. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And that'll be 
be just about all she wrote for this one. The New York set to take the field. They have the lead. Still a one possession game, but the defense got to the stop. They've got the football now. Just salted away, right? Exactly. That's 